वेलकम टू द लेक्चर सीरीज ऑफ डिजिटल फंडामेंटल डिजिटल इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स डियर फ्रेंड्स वी ऑलरेडी डिस्कस द सिंप्लीफिकेशन ऑफ बुलियन फंक्शन यूजिंग कार्नोप मेथड फॉर टू वेरिएबल थ्री वेरिएबल फोर एंड फाइव वेरिएबल एज वेल एज हाउ वी कैन सिंप्लीफाइड द फंक्शन इफ द मीन टर्म्स और मैक्स टर्म्स गेवन in the form of sum of product or product of sum today we will discuss about how the don't care condition can be useful to simplify the boolean function before starting that let's understand what do you mean by the don't care condition it name we suggest don't care so remove that thing sometime some input combinations are never occurred particular condition or certain conditions never occur or it might be not important for a circuit function whatever if the situation is occur at the input side but the output remain stable it not change as per the undesirable input condition and these combinations are called as a don't care condition we can avoid the input combination at the time of simplification or designing a digital circuit let's take an example a four bit decimal code suppose my circuit the input is four bit decimal always this input combinations will be occur but as we know that there the four bit that means 2 raised to 4 16 combinations are possible so decimal is 0 to 9 so 10 combinations are valid which is a valid decimal input and it uh, by ic or circuit digital circuit will occur according to the input combination well as we know that there is a six combinations are not a decimal code like is 1010 and 1111 this all six combinations are not valid all if this com any combination is occur the output never change which is as per the stable output according to the previous condition so my circuit will not affected so i can say that this combinations are called as a don't care the designer do not worried about this combination if don't care mean terms we put normally put the x in kmf because to simplify we can include x if possible or if required but it is not compulsory remember that thing once all min terms must be required which have a compulsory or main one one min terms but there is no necessary that the all don't care min terms we have to include to simplify the boolean function let's take some example so we can understood that things how the don't care condition is full to simplify any function suppose here the function have a four input w x y z and min terms are 5 1 3 7 11 and 15 why this function do not worried about in this min terms condition 0 2 and 5 let's draw the kmf for variable w x and y z so what i will do put the each and every condition one min term second min term is 3 7 11 and 15 while the three don't care condition 0 2 and 5 now we have to simplify it we are not worried about that thing all x r must be include our simplification but we have to take care about that things all ones must be included in our min terms or our simplified function so first we'll take this one where fall for the third row which is represent by y equal to 1 z is equal to 1 so y z another possible now i can take the first row but it will be wx and second combination is possible this four middle four cell the top two row which give the function w is 0 and z is 1 so why i am taking it because the z is common between these two so it is preferable we take the w equal to 0 so w dash and 
z is equal to 1 in this four combinations we take z out now b we are not worried about this remaining 2x because to our all ones are included so my function will become w dash z plus y z and here i can take the z is common so w dash y now i hope you can understood why we are not taking this first row because it will become wx so more simplification is not possible here one or gate and one not gate is required and uh, one end gate so with the help of three gate only we can satisfy this circuits but if i include the first row there is required w dash x dash so two not gate one end gate second end gate and one or gate so three not gate two end gate and one or gate six gates are required while if i am choosing this proper circle proper combination with the help of don't care we can minimize the circuit size this is the best example to understand that things now we have to take the form of product of sum so what we will do first all min terms will be there and then remaining m4 we put zero in the sec second row m6 is also zero m8 9 and 10 12 13 and 14 so these are the zeros and don't care we have to find out in form of product of sum this is the sum of product so what we'll do first we'll take say uh, is it possible the eight combination yes first column and last column we can add and it will become z dash now these two zeros are there so we can take the below one this one and it will become w w y dash so my f dash is equal to z dash plus w y dash always take in this way and then f dash dash is equal to f so z dash dash and w y dash whole dash it will become z and w dash plus y so this is the product of sum in this way also resolve the solution so here the one min terms are sorry one don't care condition we are not neglecting for product of sum and the two min terms are neglecting in the sum of product term. let's take one other the example suppose the function is given and f is equal to b dash c dash d dash plus b c d dash plus a b c d dash and the don't care condition is given b dash c d dash plus a dash b c dash d we have to find out sum of product and product of sum a b c d four variables are there so first we consider b dash c dash d dash so b is equal to 0 first and last row c is equal to 0 so this two cell and lower two cell and d dash so m0 and m8 two are there b dash c dash d dash three variable two boxes two min terms will be there b c d dash b is the middle two row c is the this four cell b d, b c and d dash is the last two m6 and m14 while next is a b c d d dash a b c d dash 1 1 1 0 1 1 1 0 1 so m14 again is there okay so it include four min terms now don't care condition b dash c d dash b dash 0 c 1 and d dash and a dash 0 1 0 1 0 1 m5 is there so total we obtain four min terms and three don't care condition now we have to simplify it so we can take the all corner first and it is b dash d dash and the fourth column it is c d dash so the function f is equal to b dash d dash plus c d dash remember that thing first we have to consider all four corners which is satisfied b dash d dash while the fourth column do mean two don't care condition and two min terms are there so it will make a pair c d dash we have to consider all 
ones. But with the help of don't care, we have to find out the more simplified version. We can ignore the don't care condition if the any don't care conditions are remain. Now, remaining or instead of what don't care condition will be remain same for the product of sum. These are the min terms, so remainings are max term. So it will be considered as a zero. So now middle four, it is given as the d dash. Here we are taking the product of sum. So if d equal to one, it will become d dash. Here b is equal to one, so b dash, and c is equal to zero, so c. So the f equal to d dash into b dash plus c. This is called as the resulting product of sum. So in this way, we can also find out the sum of product and product of sum. Here, the two don't care conditions we not included because it is not necessary that the we have to include all don't care condition. But the necessity is that we have to include all zeros to find out the simplified version in the form of product of sum. So I hope is it making sense from these two example. How we can consider don't care condition to simplify in the sum for the sum of product result as well as for product of sum result. Now let's take one another example. Here the conditions are something different like here. The problem is given that the following Boolean expression b e plus b dash d e is a simplified version of the expression a dash b e plus b c d e. Plus b c dash d dash e plus a dash b dash d e dash plus b dash c dash d e dash. This is our function. With the help of Carnot map, we have found the result. This one. Are there any don't care conditions? If so, what are? Means we have to put, we have to find out the simplified version of this expression in this form, and also determine which don't care condition we. Our to simplify this result means input and output were result is given. We have to find out the don't care condition which are included to find out the simplified version of the given big function. So for that, first we will draw the I variable K map where row is represented by A and B. The last two rows are A and middle two rows are represent B. First four quadrant means one, two, three, four. Four column is represent by C dash. Last four cells are represent by C. Similarly, D and E. Everything is mentioned here, which we already discussed. This all M zero to M thirty one, thirty two. Min terms are there in this five variable K map. Let's see how we can solve it. So let's put the first. Our function is given a dash b e. So a dash b e, where a is this two row, a dash. So first row, second row, b. So that means a dash b is zero one. This second row is called as a dash b. And next is e. E is nine eleven, fifteen thirteen. So these four. Min terms say that a dash b e. Next is b c d e. B is one. Middle two row. C d e. All three are one. So middle two, all three are one is possible only m one, m thirty one and m fifteen. So these two min terms is represent b c d e. Now next is b c dash d dash e. So b is the middle two row. C dash zero, D dash zero, E one, so zero zero one, M nineteen and M twenty five, zero zero one, zero zero one. So M nineteen and M M twenty five, these two min terms are there. Next is A dash B dash zero zero. So this first row only, D E dash means last two bit they will become one zero. So one zero yes M two. And M six. These twos are represented by this one. 
So total we obtained 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 mean terms are there. Okay. Now our aim is that we have to simplify in this form B plus B dash D dash E dash. So here the B dash C dash D E dash this one M2 N and M18. Now we will first B E. To represent B E, B middle 2 row and E is this 4 cell and this 4 cell. So this 8 min terms is represent the variable B E. Now next is that our next is B dash D dash B dash D E. B dash is first and last row. D is this 4 cell and middle 4 cell of the first row and last row. And E dash, E dash is mid only middle 2 cell. So 12, 2, 6, 18 and 22 is represent B dash D, E dash. Now here the thing is that this match, match don't care condition we are included. So the missing, missing cell like as here my mouse is moving M27, 29 and M22. If I include these three, it will satisfy my expression. And this is the real result, my dear friends. So first we have to include M27. This is the this min terms as a don't care condition. So D don't care condition is min terms is represent 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, A, B, 0, C dash D, E, A, B, C dash D, E. This is my first don't care condition. Second don't care condition is 29. So and 29 is represented by 1, 1, A, B, C, 1, D, 0, so D dash and E. A, B, C, D dash E. This mean terms. So we need as a don't care condition. And the third is M22. Yes. And it is represented by 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, A, B dash, C, D, E dash. So these three don't care condition include which satisfied the simplified reason of the given full expression. In some time in the exam, it might be asked in reverse order that this is the full function. This is the simplified version which don't care included. So in this way, we can also identify how many or which type of the mean terms consider as a don't care condition for the given function. So dear students, today we discuss the don't care condition and how it is it will be helpful to more simplified for the given Boolean function. In this way, we can also minimize the digital circuit and overall we are reducing the size of digital circuit as the more, less component is required, power dissipation will become less. So small circuit with low power, less power, it is the requirement of today's digital world. I hope is it making sense to all of you uh, about the don't care condition to how to use in simplification of Boolean function. Have a good day. Bye dear friends.